Welcome back to the channel. One of the most important terms when we talk about SAP S4HANA and one of the major differences between S4HANA and ECC is the Universal Journal. Today I will show you the Universal Journal in my SAP S4HANA 2020 system and I will explain some of the functions. I will also explain how this innovation has made life much easier for anyone who is working on finance and accounting or anyone who is creating reports for this area. In SAP S4 HANA, whenever we post a financial accounting document or a controlling document, it will be posted to the Universal Journal. So the Universal Journal is a table that includes all the line items posted to FI or CO. To display a table in the system, we can use transaction SE16N. And then we insert the table code. So the table for Universal Journal is ACDOCA. Accounting Documents A. And some people call it AC Doka, others call it Akadoka. I like to call it Akadoka, it's easier. So Akadoka is the Universal Journal. And here we can insert any selection criteria we want. I will show you this table for my company code, AG01. And this is a testing server. So any data you see here is not realistic. This is why I can freely show you all the material, all the records or the line items that, ha that I have posted to my company code. And then I will check the number of entries I have in the company code because if I have too many entries, we can have performance issues. This is a testing system. It doesn't have a lot of hardware capacity. This is why I always have to check this. And we have 819 records, which is okay. This is very few. So here I will include the maximum number of hits to 820 to show you all the line items I have on my company code and then execute. I have defined a layout to use in my profitability analysis videos. This is the one you see here. So this is a layout that I defined. If you want to define a similar layout or if you want to define any layout, you can use this icon. You click here and then you can click on change layout. And here it shows all the columns that are displayed. And these are all the columns that are available. Anything that's here, it means that it is hidden. If you want to move it here, you select the column and you click on the arrow. It is very simple to use. Once you are happy with the layout, you can save it by clicking here, save as, and then you insert a layout name, and then you can always click here, choose layout, and choose the layout you want to use. So I will use this one, Koopa. Now, the first column is the company code. So the Universal Journal will have all the company codes that we have in the system. Second, we have the ledger. So any ledger that exists for any company code, all the postings will be in the same table. So in the same table, we have the posting to the leading ledger and also to two LGL, which are parallel ledgers. Everything exists in the same table. And then we have the document number for finance and we have the document number for controlling. See this? So this is the first difference. This is very important. Now, whenever we post a document that has both dimensions, financial and controlling, it will have the same record in the table and it will include the two document numbers in the same line. So there will be never any reconciliation issues between FI and CO. And this is one of the main innovations that it's SAP did in S4HANA. There is no more separation between FI and CO. So financial accounting and controlling, they are no more separated. They are the same thing now. So anything that used to be FI only related or CO only related doesn't exist now. For example, the cost elements, they are no longer CO related. The cost elements are defined as GL accounts in finance. And we have another type for primary cost elements and for secondary cost elements as GL accounts. So we will never have anything that exists only in CO. So whenever we post anything that has FI and CO, it will be posted in the same place with two document numbers. And then we have the account number, the posting key. And here is one of the things I'm most happy about. Everyone is happy about this is the profitability segment. So now whenever we post a financial accounting document that has any relation to profitability analysis, we will have the profitability segment in the same table with the financial data, which means we will never have to reconcile FI and COPA again. This is a very big difference because even personally, anyone who used to work on SAP, ECC, we used to spend days trying to reconcile financial accounting data with sales data with profitability segments.
or profitability analysis data. So normally you would have a sales volume in your sales reporting that is different from the sales that's posted to your GL accounts that is different from the sales reported in profitability analysis. And then you will have to do a lot of pivot tables, a lot of VLOOKUPs to be able on Excel to be able to reconcile all of these. From now on in SAP s we don't do this anymore. Everything is in the same table. And this is why SAP recommends to use accounts based Kuba in SAP s Because when you do this, you will have every all the details in the same table in the universal journal. And this is why they call it a single source of truth. Anything that is posted to FI or CO in the system will come to the universal journal. And you can easily generate reports from this table. So here we have our profitability segment number. And then we also have all the characteristics of profitability. So we have the sales order, the sales order item, material, plant, vendor, customer, billing type, and so on. So any char characteristic that we activate in profitability analysis in the operating concern, it will appear in the universal journal. And even after we go live, so even in the future, if you would like to add new characteristics, you can easily update the universal journal to include the new characteristics. So this is the second thing. So number one, if I and CO are posted together. Number two, profitability analysis data is posted in the universal journal also. If we go to the right here, let me show you something else that's also interesting. Here we have all the currencies that are available for reporting. And in SAP s we have too many. So you will never, I don't expect anyone would have any issues with finding, with reporting in a different currency. Because in SAP s we have the balanced transaction currency, transaction currency, company code currency, global currency, and then we have eight free definable currencies. So you can insert any currencies you want for your company code, and whenever you do any posting, SAP will use the foreign exchange rates that are saved in the system to translate the transaction currency to all the currencies you want on the spot. So you can have all of these currencies available whenever you do any posting. We also have object currency, so this is the one from controlling. We then have the unit of measure, and we have multiple unit of measures, and we have also the, this one is inventory unit of measure one, two, three. We have the cost center, profit center, and then we also have here all the, the values. So here we have the definition of the currencies. So this is the currency code. And here we have all the amounts. So the, for my company code, for example, I am using this one, this one, this one, and this, but I'm not using any of the free, eight free definable currencies. I don't need them. So you can define anything you want here. And here we also have the price variances. So we have the price variance, total price variance in global currency, group valuation, total price variance. So this is also another thing that the parallel valuation. So if we have group valuation and proof center valuation, all of these valuations will be in the same universal journal. So here you will have all the different values for your different valuations. I can never go through all the columns here. They are too many. But just to give you an idea that we have all the quantity details, we have the price variances, we have the alternative valuations. Here are the alternative valuation currency, one, two, three, until eight. And we can also see the standard price and the moving average price in the different valuations. So we have standard price in group currency, we have standard price in another currency, we have standard price in local currency, and so on. We also have the cost estimate number here. This is nice. Valuation area, of center category and the object number. So this is the controlling object number and the object class. So this is a profitability analysis posting. If we go down, we have all the different postings. So not everything, we have an overhead posting here, for example. So not of everything is profitability analysis. Anything that's posted to FI or CO, you can see here. Universal Journal has been available since 2015. And because it's one of the most important innovations that SAP did in S4HANA, People are very interested about this. This is why there are many blogs available on SAP blogs explaining how the Universal Journal works and the different functions and so on. And I really like SAP blogs because they are created by SAP consultants. This is why you can fi find practical information. So not just academic uh, paragraphs or academic topics talking about the Universal Journal, but you can actually find practical advices on how to use it and the different business cases. So if you go to blogs.sap.com 
and search for Universal Journal or Akadoka, you can find a lot of blogs about this topic. We have 323 results, Analytics Universal Journal, the Universal Journal and Journal Entry Functionality, and you can find very recent blogs like this one, 2021. You can find also old ones from 2015. So I really recommend that if you have any questions about the Universal Journal or if you are interested about this topic, I recommend that you go through the SAP blogs that are available. Of course, not all of them. You can pick the ones you find interesting, but really SAP blogs website is one of the best. I hope you found the video interesting and useful. If you have any questions, you can leave me a comment on the video or you can send me a message on LinkedIn. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.